Welcome back to the show, Reds. Shankly Sessions, Friday as always, preview for the weekend's action. Liverpool heading to Molyneux, 5.30, the evening game tomorrow. Tough place to go, I always say, and we said it on the show the other night. Molyneux is one of those places that you just want to tick it off each season, get it done, get in there, hopefully get your three points, and get out of town as quick as you can. And that's always the approach going to places like Molyneux. Tough, tough place to go. Rockets atmosphere, top fans, all that kind of stuff and all. So we need to be really, really careful. Really interesting this one, of course. Both teams going in with very different runs of form. Obviously, we've bounced back greatly since Nottingham Forest. Uh, big wins over Bournemouth and all. We beat AC Milan and now beating West Ham as well in the, in the Carabao Cup. Uh, comprehensively as well scoring goals for fun doing all that good stuff but I think it's an interesting um, dynamic this game as well you look at Wolves uh, Gary O'Neill under a lot of pressure there at the moment they've had a poor start to the season um, one point I think in 15 rooted to the bottom of the table um, and have found themselves in a really difficult position where they are getting forward and scoring goals their defence at the moment is leaking, it has so many holes in it, it's like a tea bag to be honest, you know. So they're just leaking goals and stuff like that, and where they tried to hold out, they simply just can't. You seen it last week in the derby with Aston Villa as well. Uh, Cunha's uh, giving them the lead early on, and then they held out for about 70 minutes, and then once once Villa found their rhythm and broke them down, then you get this collapse, and they ended up running out winning 3-1 winners and stuff. And that's kind of been the story of the season so far for Wolves. Wolves really, really struggling at the moment. Uh, for us, obviously, bang in form at the moment. Uh, plenty of goals going in, all that kind of stuff. So it's a good rhythm, good time for us at the moment. And, you know, we heard Iron Slot talk about it as well, how the team is really finding its rhythm and, you know, how, how we have to be so protective of the ball when we're in possession and stuff like that and you know be clinical in the way we use it don't cough it up easy you know retain possession and all that kind of stuff that he likes all that kind of stuff that he focuses on so greatly and stuff like that and we've done a real good job on that this season and um, plenty of selection headaches for him of course we heard today Allison is back as well so it's only Harvey with the fractured foot is the issue everyone seems to be back everyone's chomping at the bit everyone wants to play Obviously, there'll be a little bit of rotation. So let us know your thoughts in the comments. Who is going to be in your starting 11? And, of course, drop your prediction in as well for this uh, tasty affair, 5.30 on a Saturday evening. I do like the evening games, you know, and it's a, it's going to be an interesting one. And then we're back in Europe again next week, and then we round it out next weekend as well with a game, and then that's it. We're back on an international break again. So a lot of these managers are under a lot of pressure at the moment. Especially Gary O'Neill. If Gary O'Neill was to play two games now and get two losses and have like one point out of 21, Wolves might start asking questions during the international break. The only thing that's kind of protecting these managers down the bottom at the moment, the likes of Gary and Sean Deutsch and stuff like that as well, is the fact that they're not detached from the pack. Because there's a number of teams down there just not playing very, very well. So whereas if you look at that bottom, maybe that bottom five or six teams, that you know, there's only like a win and the difference really as such, you know. So they're not as detached as they could be, considering that we're five in, this is game week six. Um but interesting to see you look at that Wolves team as well. Missing five players to knee injuries. Five players to knee injuries, you know. That's that's tough on Gary as well. Doesn't have a massive squad either. So, you know, when you're missing that level of players and that amount of players and stuff like that, really, really difficult for you in selecting a team. But when you look at that Wolves team that's there, you know, you've Samado in there who can be dangerous. We know Dawson on set pieces. He has hurt us in the past as well. Very dangerous player on the likes of crosses and set pieces and stuff like that. The boy Cunha as well, very, very good. Um, lots of players there, Larson up front can do damage, all that kind of stuff. So they do have the makings of a decent team there and a team that can hurt you if you're not 100% focused and you're not on your game. And that's where we have to be, laser focused, half five tomorrow evening, nothing but three points is acceptable. That's the way it has to be now. Wolves, when we spoke about Bournemouth, obviously Forrest were very good at sitting in, Marilla was unbelievable and all, and they got the win against us on Anfield, and that hurt a lot in fairness. But when you look at Bournemouth, I said how Bournemouth would match us man for man, and they would play football, and that would play into us, and that's really what happened. If you look at Wolves, Wolves are somewhere in between Forrest 
and Bournemouth, isn't it, in terms of how they play. So Gary does like to play football, but he's also acutely aware of getting caught on the counter and stuff like that as well. So where he likes to play a little bit of expansive football, there's always a little bit of negativity in there in the awareness of, of you know, holding back just a little bit and stuff like that. The boy eight Nori on the wing can be very, very dangerous. A boy that we were linked with most of the summer and stuff like that. And that could still happen, could still happen. Left back for us has been an issue. Um, hasn't hit its straps in insofar as what we think and, and um, Arna seems to be hesitant to use Joe Gomez in that position so we stick him with Robbo I'd imagine tomorrow but when Costas has come in we've seen it even the other night not really good at all you know what I mean so we need we really need to look at that left back position and see what we want to do and the answer that could be that boy Aiden Ori or the boy Robinson off for him um, they could be potentially two of your choices depending on whether you want to go for a traditional left back or whether you want to go for maybe a central left footed uh, central defender who knows what they want to do you know left sided um, but let's see for us great news that Allison is back not that Callagher does a bad job absolutely was brilliant during the week <clears throat> and uh, deputised really really good um, I think for our back line I think he'll revert back you're going to get Trent Conate Virgil you'll get Robbo you're going to get your midfield of McAllister, Gravenberch and Dom. You're going to get a front line then of... Um, you're going to get a front line then potentially. You have Mo Salah in there. I think he'll go with Jota. Um, and he'll go with Diaz. Diaz absolutely banging form at the moment. Be criminal to leave him out of the side. But if he can get in there, put a few early goals on the board and stuff like that, then we can start thinking about bringing in the likes of Gakbo and stuff like that. Or do you think Gakbo has done enough to deserve a starting position at this stage. Uh, surely Jota's going to start in the middle against his old team and stuff like that. Although you never know with Arna because he may not be as familiar with the history there and stuff like that. But Jota back at Molyneux. He loves that little bit of shit housery, doesn't he, and stuff like that. He's banging form as well and stuff like that. So many players in great form at the moment, so real difficult, a great headache for Arna Slot to have, I must say, and stuff like that. In terms of a prediction, I'm thinking 3-1 to Liverpool. I think there is just the chance of maybe potentially conceding, you know, off a set piece for Dawson or something like that, or, you know, just, just something kind of like that, you know. In terms of the three we're going to get, Love to see Trent bang a free kick. Love to see Jota scoring on his old haunting ground as well. And Mo Salah to continue. He's after scoring a few goals there during the week. Hopefully he can bounce back and help. Hopefully he can keep that going, not bounce back. Because um, his form has been a little bit stop start this season. But uh, back to form now. Scoring goals is what he does best, isn't it? So Mo Salah to get on the score sheet. Trent maybe with a free kick. And Diogo Jota on his own stomping ground. And we'd be very happy with that Reds, wouldn't we? Then we go into next week. We have the game against, I think it's Bologna, isn't it? So we play against Bologna at home. Uh, so it'll be nice to have a Champions League game now at home, which would be pretty cool. And then we go into next weekend. And I think next weekend, if I'm right, is it Newcastle? I think it's Newcastle. I'm not too sure who we finish out with and stuff like that. But then I know after the next international break, we've got quite a a run of interesting fixtures top level stuff and things like that but again back to this Wolves game really really important as well that we show up with the right attitude right from minute one all that kind of stuff we know at Wolves as well they're capable of lifting their game against top six opponents not so much against the ones that do tend to be around them and stuff like that but when top six teams show up in town they tend to raise their game and stuff like that as well so we need to be really conscious of that as well but we definitely need to win definitely need the three points let's keep this form going um, if you look at the betting at the moment, Wolves are a real long stretch at 13 to 2, even though they're home. The draw is 9 to 2, and Liverpool are 1 to 3 on. So we're half favourites to win this as well. And, and you would expect that where you're looking at, you know, up near the top versus bottom, really, and Wolves struggling so much. But like I said, they are scoring goals, but they're also leaking goals, and that's where we need to be careful. We need to make sure that it's the leaking more than the scoring, and that's what's most important. Until next time, Reds. As I said, in the comments, give us your start at 11. And on top of that, give us your score prediction. And if you're having a bet on the Liverpool game or you're doing a bet builder, gamble aware as always and stuff like that. But uh, drop your little bet in there in the comments as well and let us know if you're putting a little flutter together for the Liverpool game. Sure to uh, generate some interest. So if you can, it is the Shankly Sessions, folks. Preview, Wolves versus Liverpool, 5.30 tomorrow evening. Um, make sure you're subscribing to the channel the upper tier 
make sure you're hitting that bell notification button dropping a like on the video all that good stuff and we will be back tomorrow night probably with a reaction um, and also check out as well we're probably going to have a bonus episode of Pro Wrestling Weekly as well where we review that new Mr. McMahon documentary on Netflix uh, we let you know your thoughts on that during that show as well have a great weekend folks it's Friday stay safe enjoy the football and we'll talk to you again real soon cheers <laughs>